This is my first Ramadan in Oman. I haven't really experienced it yet, so today we're going to make that happen. It's currently 5.30, we've got an hour left till iftar, I'm starving. The plan is go to the beach, show you guys a little bit of the culture and grab some good food before we get there. We are on the way to Sea Beach right now. We're about 20 minutes left till iftar. We're about 10 minutes away from the location. Really pressed for time to be honest, so I don't know if we're going to make it. But we're going to try and make it happen inshallah. The plan is to stop at one of these little food trucks because they've always got themselves on the side of the streets and they've got chicken, chicken sheesh, lamb sheesh and just a bunch of grill stuff. But the only problem is they typically open after Maghrib and if that's the case then there's no food and this might just be a little dead sandwich from the petrol station or something which I'm not, which I'm not a fan of. But as you can see we're in Muscat right now. There's a mosque right there and that is the common theme you've got mosques all around and there's no lack of of islam in the country but yeah i'm starving so let's try and get this done and let's try and make it on time so we have made it to sea beach we're foodless and i just wanted to quickly show you what the beach looks like so this is everyone out here getting ready to break their fast they're out with their families their friends got their tents out got their little picnic things going on and this is the normal thing in Amman. everyone likes to be outdoors they like to socialize outdoors, whether it's the beach, whether it's the desert, wherever it is. They want to be outdoors, drink their tea, have a little conversation with their friends and family. And it's just very family oriented. So, as you can tell, like I said, we haven't got our food. We're going to go grab a little tea from up the road. And we're going to break our fast that way. But eventually, we're going to go and grab some real food from one of the food trucks. I've never tasted the lamb schools over here. And it's the first experience for me. It is from a food truck, which I'm not a fan of because obviously unhygienic things happen over there. But we're going to do it for the content and I look forward to it, inshallah. I'm starving. The tea is not going to be sufficient. But let's just get this over and done with. So this is the beach in Sib, And as you can see, it's very modern. We don't live in no desert or some caveman era. And this is a real general feel. And look, we have a cat. He wants to break his fast as well and he thinks I have food. I've got no food, my brother. I have got love for you, though. I wish I had food. But anyway, as you can see, this is Oman. It's very modern. There's a tea shop right behind you as well that we're going to go to. And we're going to go and grab some tea from there, break our fast. Everyone's starting to come out. It's actually not that busy today. Seeing as though it's a Saturday, I don't know if it's because it's Ramadan or it's not. But um, this cat's distracting me. Sorry, my cat. So as you can tell, Ramadan in these Gulf countries are drastically different to what we're used to in the UK and in the West. They typically don't eat big meals when they break their fast. So it's going to be a small meal, a little bit of dates, a little bit of fruit. They'll go out and pray, their Maghrib, and then they'll have their big feast and then the Isha will come and then they'll have to have a prayers. But it's very seamless, it's very effortless. We've got a cat here doing, about to do his funny business right in front of me. Welcome to Amman. On a side note, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what the houses and the villas look like over here. Look at this. Look at the size of this. Look at that one there big modern villas nothing like this stupid victorian houses in the uk black and white look at this huge windows garage driveway absolutely beautiful you're telling me you wouldn't rather this over the house in the uk i'm telling you this is this is no caveman thing over here you'd be surprised on what they actually have over here it's my job to show you and I'm going to do a good job of that as well. So we have a huge problem here. We travelled a long way and we have searched every single food stall, food truck, whatever you want to call it, for food. And they're all closed. So right now, as you can see, closed. Not a single smell of meat. Not a single person doing this with the skewers. So we're stuck here with no food. It's been about 16 hours since I ate. It's eight o'clock, it's actually after Isha, which is supposed, supposedly the time that they're supposed to open and start cooking. Don't know what's going on. I haven't got that much energy left in me 
I got no petrol in the car. It's an absolute nightmare, but we're gonna wait another 20 minutes. Hopefully I start seeing some smoke and some sort of flames going on and get some good food in, good food in me. So let's see how that one plays out. But I'm running low, I'm not gonna lie to you. So another hour has gone and still no luck. I've got one place that I'm banking on and we're gonna find out right now if they're open or not. And I think, I think they are open. I think they are, oh my God, is that smoke? It's open, it is open. Give me the mishkak. Let's go, let's get some food. Thank you very much, brother. You can stop right there. There you go, look at the smoke. Mishkak? Yeah. Five? And then some squid and some seafood, whatever you want. Five, five. Okay, perfect. So we're in luck. And it smells good. Ah, excited. So hot, hot chili, normal chili? Or sauce or normal sauce? Mix, 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 yes. I like hot, my missus don't, so it's a mixed thing. So, uh, it smells good, my mouth's watering. Genuinely, my mouth, look at the time. It's 8.30 right now. The fast open at 6.30, I've had a tea. And actually, I didn't even eat nothing in the morning either. Laham, right? No, no, shaham. Ah, uh, shaham. Yeah, this is your meat, I was squid and prawns. Oh, uh, this is squid? Yeah. And this is prawns? Yeah. Okay, this is all for me, huh? Yeah, it's a burger meat, a burger chicken. Yeah, it looks very good. Yeah. Brother, thank you very much. Watermelons. You know what? It's one of my favorite fruits, and I've not had a watermelon in a man yet. So let's give this. Let's give that. Good stuff. Thank you. So we have here, I thought this was lamb, it's actually not lamb, it's beef. We have here squid. We have here prawns. Thank you, brother. We have here prawns. Yeah, it's prawns. So now, it's my first time eating this. It's called mishkak. Let's give this a try. 16 hours, 17 hours. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That is good. That is very, very good. That was worth the wait. Very worth the wait. The flavors on that is crazy. That has got a lot of flavors in there. Don't know what's going on in my mouth, but it's going, it's doing, it's doing good. There's a party in my mouth. Let's try the squid. That's good stuff. So this is my meal. And I'm gonna enjoy this meal. And once I'm finished with this meal, we're gonna go and get something sweet inshallah. So let me enjoy my food. See you soon. This one for the Asian people is like gulab jamun and this one for the Asian people is like jalebi. This is what the guys say. I'm a fan of both. I like sweet stuff, so we're gonna get both. Let's try this one first. This costs, I think, two reals for both of them, which is about four pounds. Let's try this. Wow, that is soft. Oh, is that a cake or something? Okay. That's good. That's sweet. Look at that. So sort of syrup on my hands. That's nice. It's not it's not what I thought it was though. It's more like coconut bits and like a cake, like a a fairy cake. It's good though. If you can't handle sweet, like over overly sweet, you're not gonna like this. But me See this? Normal. All right. I can't remember what, he, what this guy said this was. Don't know what he compared it to, but we're gonna try it. Mm. 
It's sweet. It's okay. It's sweet, but it's hard and crispy. A little bit syrupy, but... I don't know, it, it tastes weird because it's very airy. And me, I promise you, even if I feel sick and I feel overwhelmed with all these sweets, I'll happily eat another 17 and feel sick and feel like I want to vomit and eat another five on top of that as well. That's just me. A sweet tooth fiend. So that concludes my day here in Oman. I've tried to show you a good glimpse of what Oman is like. And I know it's been a day full of trials and tribulations, but we've got through it and we've left on a sweet note, unlike three hours ago where we were starving. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know. But for now, I've got to get some good night's sleep. I've got a flight to catch tomorrow to Egypt and we're going to wrap it up there. See you soon.